All right, so uh, I recorded some replay analysis of uh, Red King uh, replays. And I feel that I was perhaps uh, slightly uh, mean to Red King. I mean, yeah, he. Uh, he did make mistakes, but you know, everybody makes mistakes, and that's how you lose. So, you know, I decided to uh, watch some uh, replays where Red King wins. Uh, and I think I can learn more from that than from his uh, losses because uh, you know if he loses and he loses because he makes a mistake uh, uh, then uh, you know I, I, that's not something I can rely on but uh, you know I cannot rely on the real game for him or any other human to make mistake and you know to, to, to center my strategy around making a mistake uh, but I feel that if I watch his replay where he wins I can perhaps see if the good player does something um, that's, uh, you know, a mistake of, th of their own and, you know, think about whether I am doing that mistake when I'm playing and how I can improve on that. So the first play I load it up is uh, Mandel versus Red King. And uh, right now Mandel is in a bit of a, you know, gutter. He's, uh, I think he's burned out. I mean, from what I talked to him, it's like, Supposedly he isn't, but I think, you know, the fact that he lost to Sardine in the qualifier, uh, you know, sort of got him on the wrong track mentally. And, um, yeah, I think he's playing as good as he usually does. But, uh, let's see. I mean, he does here. He picks up a uh, spigot in the main, which is... Which is how I Magic uh, defeated me in the last game of our... <laughs> of our uh, GGTS qualifier. Let me speak it in the main. Uh, I Magic had prepared really. When we played, he prepared really like he's. Uh, he wasn't macroing, but he prepared very carefully. Prepared the. Uh, the patterns of uh, picking up spigots and how he's gonna attack. I mean, he had. Uh, it actually was sort of, uh, it was cool. It was cool what he did. It's like, um, I remember watching, um, especially uh, Brood War games in Korea. Uh, and Brood War games in Korea, they go on schedule. So you, you know who you expect, and you only have one burst of three to play against them, and you prepare strategies very carefully. You're going to do this, that, and that. And a lot of times you prepare macro strategy and an all in, you know, to, to mix it up, to, to, to be unexpected. Uh, well, the Red King, I mean, uh, Magic didn't prepare that because uh, it was best of one in group stages, so he didn't probably expect to play best of three against me, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, um, yeah, it's it just, you know, his preparation of, you know, an all in. Reminded me a lot of uh, how, you know, Broodbor was played in uh, in Korea, and that's cool, I mean, obviously the skill level is different between Korea and Broodbor and, you know, this tournament, but it was still, you know, very cool. Uh, anyway, so, uh, Mendel goes to pick up Spigot. Uh, you know, pretty standard pattern, I usually just rush here and then, you know, go this, this and that. And I think it's better to not pick up the spigot in the main because of how um, options, because of options. So when you uh, when you rush straight for this thing and then goes here and here and here, you get here uh, one spigot faster. So you have an option to go this way. You know, if you you know scout something suspicious maybe, or you just want to do some kind of rush through top. Um, which I, I think I think I saw Mendel do that. I think I saw Mendel do um, one mother bastion rush. He went this way. He went downwards, and then uh, built up a large protein with bastion and uh, striders, and then you know the turrets were shooting the bastion while striders were killing them. So I mean that's pretty crazy, but that's one of the strategies you can employ. And um, just going here, being in this location, gives you more options. You're faster here, you can go right. 
you go down and do what Mendel do did or you can go left and go here and you can also do what Mendel did or do anything else really or if you want you can go here and then rush through middle like you would do in GVG so uh, not picking up spigot in the main I think it's significantly better in uh, non-go versus go matchups and possibly go versus go unless you're Russian but I think that's that's uh, it's a small mistake but I think it's a clear mistake to pick up main spigot here Uh, don't understand this uh, small process thing. I mean, um, yeah, I, I don't think you're gonna get enough out of it on this map. I just, you know, well, on. I think the only map you're gonna get enough out of it is Grotto when he was on the left. And I uh, know we used to do that all the time, we used to do one uh, one protein into harassment. But I think that, you know, just uh, humans got used to it and um, the strength, frankly the strength of one protein harassment is uh, the implication of uh, rush and when your mother goes over here there is no implication of rush because you're simply too far and that also matters on the timing when your mother is gonna get there but also it matters on the timing when your protein is gonna get there and your protein is gonna get a lot slower from here when it has to climb the mountain than it would from here when it has one less mountain to climb and generally a lot smaller distance and I think that's an error that also comes from uh, picking up spigot and main and uh, um, yeah so maybe not maybe doing that is a bigger mistake than I originally thought maybe maybe you absolutely need to ignore this spigot but um, uh, let's think if Mandel was closer if Mandel was closer to Red King could he do anything with that protein I no no not at all he Red King has sent an lap already Red King has sent an lap uh, he doesn't have a second refinery obviously uh, Strider is a uh, way too slow to pick off uh, you know the finished uh, structure and the drovers. Uh, don't pick off uh, the shuttle in working fast enough to to avoid this sentinel turret. Um, I think in this circumstance, I think there are circumstances where you might want to go uh, protein first, but it would be uh, I'm uh, I'm unsure if you can go protein first when your mother is in a rush position. Like if his mother was here or on Nyko, uh, which is something Dallas does a lot when he shuttles his mother across, uh, well not shuttles, moves his mother across the middle and uh, his uh, mother is up the hill next to the human base. He does a lot of one protein harassment, but that also never really was an effective harassment strategy. I am not certain on the effectiveness of, of it, but uh, yeah, I, I, it's not an effective as a tool of harassment, it might be effective as a tool of harassment, plus the implication that a uh, human needs to build more resources to defend any potential rush that's incoming. I think the protein would do like no damage. Look how slow it is. She's not even standing on there. Um, yeah. Yeah, M Mandel is not playing well since, uh, since, uh, Saturday. There is, like, uh, like, I played Mandel, I, I tried practicing uh, beta against Mandel, and Mandel, um, 
Yeah. Dell is very good at rushing people. I mean, Dell, uh, he played a lot of games, as he complained always. His multitasking not so good, APM low, but he's very good at. Um, uh, he understands the game well and the timing of the game well. And his rushes are very effective. And uh, one of the reasons his rushes uh, against my beta were effective was because he didn't turn uh, small proteins into uh, units right away. And uh, I actually started doing it myself sometimes because, uh, you know, before I used to uh, go for very quick drovers usually against beta and striders against human. But uh, now I understand that the HP that uh, large protein, I mean small protein has, is a valuable resource and it's slow, the resources, the assets, and I think you need to utilize uh, small protein being small protein uh, before you transform it. Uh, there probably are situations where you would prefer uh, your units to regen to full HP, but uh, yeah, there's a that's not the situation that you would know on that. Oh, <laughs> and the king doesn't doesn't get his sentinel finished. There is no one. Uh, So yeah, 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 just, um, it's hard to say if uh, Mendel attacked right away uh, and he was closer how effective his uh, harassment would be, but uh, it actually would be very effective, I think, because Red King cancelled the turret. Um, I'm not sure you should be doing that as human player. But still, you know, with all the uh, delays that are going on in Red King's build, I think this is just not very effective. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's a mistake on Red King's part to cancel that turret. I mean, I understand that the units are far, but this is just one turret. Uh, yeah, you know, e even if the rush is uh, executed poorly like Mandela is doing here right now, it's still, you know, it killed like one worker and uh, it's probably not gonna kill this worker. Yeah, but um, you still, you you know, you're panicking, you're expanding your micro, you're building an extra turret which you don't need at all. You never needed it and, you know, you just had to keep your original turret up and you'd be fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I think you just... Not always, I mean, obviously, you know, when there is no rush coming, there is no reason to, to keep the resources tied up as a, as a, as a sentinel. But, uh, you saw a protein, what are you doing? Um, that's actually not the first time that I noticed that behind Red King. Uh, before Qualifier 2, I watched a lot of uh, Red King still plays against Matisse, because Matisse, Matisse was the first good player who actually started beating the Red King style. Before that, Red King was king. I mean, I still think he's a king, but... Um, yeah, Matisse was the first good player who offered a real challenge for this uh, human playstyle. And... Uh, Um, I saw that in Red King a lot. He would, like Matisse would, in the beginning especially, Matisse would just do, you know, random stuff. He would sometimes rush one mother, two mother, three mother, uh, four mother. Sometimes he would uh, rush of one mother and split to three mothers. And he just would do, you know, very different uh, varying strategies that would throw Red King off, uh, you know, his build. And uh, that's uh, one of the, um, that made me actually change up, like I sometimes would uh, rush human and sometimes I would not rush human and I would, you know, rush him on a different, you know, amount of mothers. Uh, because, you know, making human guess what you're doing is, uh, uh, is good, you know, overreaction or underreaction to your rushes, you know, makes their builds suboptimal. But 
wrecking uh, just messes up a lot when it comes to you know uh, that kind of stuff. I mean, he he likes to play uh, super greedy. Um, yeah, I think that's like actually one of the reasons why. Like, like I had some wins versus Red King, but I would play different strategies. And I think the last series, Red King beat me up again. I think I was just doing you know the the same stuff, harass early, then macro, then harass, then macro, then harass, then macro. And I think Red King just you know got down very very well when I'm gonna attack him and when to build turrets. And uh, yeah, because he wouldn't cancel this turret against me usually. Uh, Yeah, so um, if you if you throw uh, if you play a lot like in, in Grey Good happens a lot if you play one player over and over again just you know mixing up strategies to make them make a mistake overreact or underreact it's, it's a good thing but yeah Red King just likes uh, I like I mean that's that's one of my weaknesses actually I like to. Uh, use extremely average strategies so I can uh, uh, defend against everything but Red King he just yolos a lot he when he defends I mean I saw games against him m him against me and he would just build like six uh, sentinels and actually against other players as well I saw one game against Matisse when he was on uh, uh, Stalker's Rise and Matisse uh, I think Matisse didn't even do anything like his drover came to Red King's base and Red King built four centimeters four because one drover came and he thought Rush was coming or something like that uh, so yeah Red King thinks in absolutes if he's greedy he would cancel that one sentinel and uh, if he's scared, he would plop down so many turrets that he doesn't really need. Uh, yeah, somewhat poor micro on both players' part, but you know, Wars and Mendel and uh, uh, Revolvers are a bit more um, favored, I think, against the against good players, striders. But. Um, yeah, could have been micro better. That's, that's all that there is really. And uh, Mandel does goes for something weird. I, th I think that this is the Bastion Rush that I was talking about. Well, how would Red King react to this? He is not gonna react to this. And what's Mandel doing? Mandel is going for large protein and he's gonna transform that large protein into nothing. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what to say about this. It's like, uh, I'm not sure if this can work. This can definitely never work if you take your mother with you. If you take your mother go with you, you are. Uh, no, it can't work. And um, wait, can it work? You can't take your mother go with you. If you take your mother go with you, you will. It will die. It always dies. I tried it before. Okay. So what you get? You get. You get essentially. You kill. Um, you 
you feel some conduit, you stop his, uh, you briefly stop his uh, research correction. It actually might work on this map. Uh, you do what Mendel did, but you keep your mothers away from the army. And uh, then you hope for good explosions on, uh, you know, the rovers, maybe. And then you uh, build up a couple of more uh, small proteins. They would be done, but now you go in here, you, you make more striders, you place uh, the dwellers defensively, like somewhere here and here. Uh, and you pick off any resources that uh, human is producing while while expanding yourself. Yeah, he would have like six striders, and he would have uh, uh, three more um, dwellers. I mean, that's dwellers. He would have three dwellers, but he would also have. Uh, three small proteins from when they explode. So he cannot touch main. Main is untouchable, but uh, yeah, he can he can shut down any other um, income from over here. Uh, Taurus will teleport, but he would have um, yeah. This is like what minus thirty. Is he building anything? This is being built, uh, no refinery is complete. What? There's a turret. So yeah, he cannot really afford building a turret. So yeah, this can work. You know, what he needs for this to work is to not... Uh, don't take your mothers with you. Uh, take large proteins, uh, shut down this. Uh, buried weather somewhere here to defend against rovers and then control production while expanding yourself. Uh, you need two extra proteins from mothers which would add uh, like six striders. Six striders in that situation would be the best because you want to be killing extractors. Uh, so you want to be going for the striders and um, uh, controlling human income rate and expanding yourself. Uh, you would have also, you know, if you don't lose, uh, you know, if them in silly way, you would have uh, six actually he would have he would have these striders um, so he would have six plus eight yeah he would have uh, 14, 14 striders this is a striders that's a lot of striders 14 striders and 4 dwellers just would explode yeah that, that can work that, whoa Whoa, I, I, I actually want to test it now. This is so effective, much more effective than I thought. Really. What's a good strategy is that it is not executed optimally, but I think I think this this can be really good. I actually really like that. I think that might be. Uh, I think it might work with different uh, usefulness against uh, uh, you know, depending on how many turrets human have, but has but. Yeah, I mean, just all the critiques that I said, but interesting, interesting. I liked it. 